the ability for fabrics. I think the lightness of fabrics. Um, obviously, with a global warming, nobody really wants to be in big, heavy stuff all the time. Um, and because the world is flat now, uh, you want to be able to wear a sweater if you're a little bit cold in the summertime, if you travel and go to the Southern Hemisphere where it's winter. So I think there's been an enormous technology in fabrics making them more lightweight, making them warm without being heavy. Um, again, I was just at the Marc Jacobs showroom really touching the collection uh, personally uh, for spring and extraordinary lame, lyric shot fabrics that or one of a kind, um, and that ability to to I think technologically innovate in fabrics has been an extraordinary um, development. Albert Albaz for Lovin's spring collection um, six months ago that was in the store six months ago. All those beautiful colored evening dresses were in polyester. You know that used to be a dirty, naughty, bad, yucky eh, word. These dresses are divine. I bought a blue one. I mean. Polyester is not what it used to be. It's as delicate, it's as sophisticated as the best silk on the planet. Um, and I think in some ways even allows more flexibility and fluidity and it's a little bit more modern for a woman that's you know, packing a suitcase and traveling uh, because it's not quite as fragile and yet it's still got um, the drape and the fluidity that you would expect out of a natural fiber. So I think fabric technology I think is, um, it's really changed a lot uh, of fashion and the way we look at clothes and how we can design them and how we like to feel in them. Just lighter, easier, and stretch. My God, what did we do before stretch? What did I do before stretch my outs? Miserable. Um, so just even that technology, which wasn't around in my mother's generation, really, um, is just fantastic. Um, it's making, um, it's, there are no isolated pockets anymore. You know, if you want to get the, the, the little black dress from Balenciaga and they don't have it in New York, you can call around the world and try and find it. Um, so I, I think there is a ability to shop wherever you want to go or you know, go to Net-a-Porter online um, and, and buy it that way if you're in Dubai and you can't get to the shops in Paris or New York or London or Milan or Tokyo um, or even Shanghai. You know, you can do it online. So I think um, you know, you can, you can access fashion from wherever you are. Um, without saying that green is becoming a kind of hackneyed thing for everybody to hang their hat on uh, a little bit. Um, you know, fashion isn't that green, probably. I think it's becoming more so, I think, Stella McCartney. Um, you know, she doesn't wear leather, she doesn't believe in fur, none of the English designers promote fur. That already is a slight shift for animal rights, which is already closer to green than a lot of uh, fashion designers. Um, uh, Miguel Androver, who was a big kind of force, uh, as a kind of eclectic force in New York fashion a few years ago, but couldn't sustain his business. He's a Spaniard from Mallorca. Um, is back doing a limited piece collection for a German company called Hess Natur, which is a green natural fa fabric and fiber company. I think fibers and fabrics are going to become greener. Um, I think the kind of carbon footprint is going to be considered more. I think the idea of recycling, as I talked about, a way I kind of feel better about it, giving back a kind of charity, selling clothes, buying with that, not just a kind of consumer eating up, eating up, eating up, eating up, eating up, cotton ball after cotton ball after cotton ball, um, but, but trying to find a way to recycle things, I think, is a way that fashion will. I think it will happen um, slowly, slowly. Um, there's something antithetical to a really sexy stiletto shoe um, and being green, which by virtue of that sounds like a flat, sensible Birkenstock. So um, the two of them are not on the same page yet, but I feel there's a slight undercurrent about people being a little more thoughtful and careful about their choices as they're designing. Mm -hmm.